What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here today. Jeepers Creepers 3, a little bit leading up to some more problems that apparently exist regarding Jeepers Creepers 4 and a little bit about the future of the franchise and the problem that currently exists with Jeepers Creepers and kind of just tracing up to the issue now and how we got there. So Jeepers Creepers 3, terrible. Jeepers Creepers 4, even more terrible. The problem right now with Jeepers Creepers is with who currently has the rights to make these movies. So in my mind, many of you might have been in high school. Many of you might have just been in different places in your life back in 2015. But in 2015, I was in high school. Jeepers Creepers 3 had just been announced. It was confirmed after so many years of waiting. And it was supposed to film in 2016. It was supposed to shoot in Canada. We knew it was going to be set in between the first and second films. People were still having their doubts about that. But you had producers involved. You had the backing that you needed to have a successful film. But then the casting calls were pulled and production was delayed due to things that I expected to probably happen because Salva's Dirt caused production and caused production and casting issues. Now, as much as I do not think that Salva needs to be in the industry anymore, and I do not think that he needs to be brought back for us to have a successful Jeepers Creepers movie. If Jeepers Creepers 3 was going to come at his hands and somebody wanted to give him a chance to do more movies, that's on them. I don't think he should be doing any more movies, but of course, I can't stop them from giving him a chance. Neither can you. It's not up to us. So producers at the time who otherwise would have been involved dropped out after the Canada issue after Canada's production got shut down you all probably remember this if, again if you were around the producers who otherwise would have been involved they dropped out of the project and then sometime in 2016 that same year the the Canada shutdown happened according to the producer who has the rights to make the movies now Michael O'Hoven this was in a BuzzFeed article he said Salva came to me and I said, look, or, or, or Salva came to him and said, look, I've known you for a long time. I know you've always loved the franchise. Can you make the film? So O'Hoven then worked with Francis Ford Coppola's production company, American Zotrope, who is the main rights holder on the Jeepers Creepers movies to push the sequel forward. See that exchange right there. That exchange right there in 2016 is where I can pinpoint where our issues began because O'Hoven seems to be where things just went wrong now keep in mind i've also told you guys in the past that old hoven was involved at some point with jeepers creepers cathedral because allegedly he has had the rights to this film at one point before back when they shot a day's worth of footage for jeepers creepers cathedral when um i was lucas adams was actually cast to play Derry jenner trisha's son i showed you guys the exclusive images of him on set doing some of the filming for his role as Derry, which of course was again only for one day so O'Hoven has had his hands in the cookie jar with Jeepers Creepers for a while allegedly O'Hoven owns Infinity Films which is the production company that had a hand in Jeepers Creepers 3 and Jeepers Creepers 4 O'Hoven and his friends I will say they just seem very confident with mediocre sequels that profit off a known IP with two good to decent entries so far. I think that's what many of us can agree with. The franchise is 50-50. That's not a good franchise when it's down the middle like that. Um, so who are these friends that I'm referring to? Well, of course, I don't know how personal these people are outside of making movies. But Jake Seal, who you've heard, of, heard me talk about several times, and Terry Bird both had a hand in Jeepers Creepers 4. And these are the two who just got called out by Eva Green earlier this year after she won a lawsuit involving them. Eva called Jake Seal a monster, absolute vomit to that, to some other type of nasty word she had to say about the man. So it's like, bro, there's something wrong here with who, who Jeepers Creepers is currently in the hands of. Seal also produced Jeepers Creepers 3 as well. And remember, Salva allegedly had a feud going on with the crew during that time. And they were trying to sabotage the 2017 premiere of the movie. Travis, who you know starred in Jeepers Creepers 2 as Izzy, told me that allegedly someone stole from the film's budget, which contributed to the lackluster results that were already on their way, I would assume, with someone like Jake Seal overseeing it and, and pushing stuff as a producer. 
And Salva wasn't even allowed in the editing room, but this was apparently something that was a part of his contract. And after seeing a cut of the movie, Salva hated it, and he just threw his hands up in the air. He's like, you know what, I'm done. See, this is this is karma. This is karma in a lot of ways for Salva. But at the same time, fans who want the series to exist without him don't deserve this. What Salva mistakenly did was he got into business when he became desperate with producers who are definitely more interested in making money, not having all of their ducks in a row, and catching cases, and producing low-tier content all around. When you Google Jeepers Creepers 3 lawsuit or Jake Seal lawsuit, you can find countless things, and I'll even leave a link to a few in the description. You guys recall I was the one who revealed to the world the lawsuit that was holding up promotion for Jeepers Creepers 4, which also involves Jake Seal and has a jury trial still set to occur in 2024 with Myriad Pictures alleging their rights to the franchise were tampered with. So you see the dilemma here. There's something wrong with these producers. There has to be. Lawsuits do not just fall into your lap like that. The most recent alleged info about Jeepers Creepers 4 came from a crew member who worked on the project and the claims goes as follows. This production screwed me and several others who wanted to make the best product over. We worked for 16 hours, sometimes, weren't rightfully comp compensated, so they weren't paying them correctly, of course, and they created unsafe work environments that could have resulted in a tragedy, so people's lives were at risk when making this film. They also made a bunch of people involved go bankrupt and lose their homes, apparently. Now, this person is also alleging that Salva agreed to direct three and never touch the film series again, which is a rumor I've heard before. Now... They aren't specifying which producer they are referring to here, but they say the producer, the main producer, is a thug with lawsuits all over the world. Now, with everything I've addressed leading up to this, how could I not assume that this alleged producer might be Jake Seal? Do you see why Salva begging O'Hoven to do three was where we went wrong? That's exactly where we went wrong. The minute it got into O'Hoven's hands, everything went wrong. Look at the track record of this dude's movies. He doesn't have a lot of bangers under his belt. Jake Seal also is someone who seems to be very content with making movies in Louisiana and doing a lot of fraudulent activity, according to all of these lawsuits that keep coming his way. I, I again, can't stress this enough. Lawsuits don't simply just land into your lap like that. You're not moving correctly, my guy. The franchise is in the hands of clowns, and this lawsuit with the jury trial is the only hope we currently have of anything being fixed. Jake Seal is the primary producer I think needs to be removed. And Michael O'Hoven, due to his associations, needs to be removed as well for bringing Jake back for Jeepers Creepers 4 and putting his wife in Jeepers Creepers 3. Just a little added tidbit there for me. Uh, that's not really an issue, but just a little sign of what where his head lied because she didn't even do a great job in that film herself. The franchise can't succeed with these producers. One monster walked his creation into the hands of more monsters who screwed him and continue to screw up the IP beyond repair. We don't need Victor back. We need competent producers. The problem is the producers, not Victor. We don't need Victor back. Victor can come back and you'll get the same result you had with Jeepers Creepers 3 because of who the producers are. We need to get the project the ip out of these guys's hands something has to be done the only hope is that their rights to the making these movies end it reverts back to the primary rights holder american zoetrope and american zoetrope hands the rights over to someone else who might be interested because there's somebody out there who is interested if there's this small of a company like Infinity Films who can gain the rights to it, some other small independent company can gain the rights to it as well. You guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and there's a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.